Welcome to Review Nation and in today's episode we are counting down the top 20 best metal albums of January 2020. I've listened to a lot of albums this month. This month in metal has been very strong. Last year was an absolutely amazing year of metal. This year has kicked off with another amazing start to metal. This is completely subjective. This is just my opinion. This is my taste and this is what I like. So let's get on with the first album. Number 20 goes to Tor From, Calda Altera. fantastic brittle death metal band from Chilling, and I really love the songs overall. It's about a 40 minute album, but it's a very enjoyable album. Brutal, love the guitarist, the gritty guitarist along the solos, not to mention his harsh, harsh vocals are quite orgasmic at times. I really enjoy this band, and I really enjoy how hard hitting they are. This is a great death metal band you should definitely check out. Now we move on to number 19. Number 19 goes to a black metal band called Inverted Virtue. So So they are a Finnish black metal band. It was a very interesting album. I love songs like Leviathan, along with Black Metal Assault Team. Fantastic songs they are. The tremolos throughout the songs are amazing. And the atmosphere, there's a strong atmosphere. The production overall sounds quite raw and it's quite gritty, but damn, it's such a very, very enjoyable album to listen to. If you like black metal, I would definitely recommend Inverted Virtue. This album, The Railroad to How, it's quite aggressive but yet at times it's quite melodic and check out Leviathan because that's one of the best songs coming at number 18 is Rage Wings of Rage A very enjoyable album. It takes a while to get use of the vocals, but the vocals really grow on you. And I really love the song True, and I absolutely love Shine a Light. Absolutely fantastic. That's a beautiful ballad. The guitar works amazing throughout this song. Production is really good. This album really grows on you. It really does. It's potential for this album to really rise up the list as I listen to it more. It's quite heavy. It's also quite gritty, but it's got this nice tone throughout this album. And his vocals are just fine. His vocals are fine as you listen to this album over and over again. My first initial listen, I wasn't really gravitating towards the album, but fuck me. I absolutely love this album now. Wings of Rage is a fantastic album. So uh, go check it out. Coming out at number 17 is Ms. Maka Hayatala's Pyre of the Black Heart. What a fantastic album this is. So different to Nightwish. But fuck me, this is a fantastic album. I love the Celtic elements throughout Run of the Railways. Absolutely fantastic song. And also the electronic elements throughout Star, Sand and Shadow along with I Am The Way. But you also get absolutely amazing guitar solos throughout this album. You can tell that Marco was, was definitely inspired by Pink Floyd, but my God, absolutely magnificent album. Go fucking check it out. Coming in at number 16 is Hazard Delirium. <laughs> If you want really fast, aggressive, fresh metal, go check out this. I love this band, really do. Fantastic, They're doing something different. It's modern thrash, but it's also heavy metal, and I love that. Uh, sacrifice Them in the Name of God is fantastic. Sacrifice Them in the Name of God. Love that chorus. Amazing guitar solos. A Tormented Reality is amazing as well. Call of the Void. Unbelievable instrumental. This album's fantastic. If you want fucking thrash metal, check out Hazard because it's just... This album is headbangable as fuck. Coming in at number 15 is Apocalyptica. Cello. That's right, that's the name of the album. And I really do enjoy this album. This is a great instrumental album, really is. There are no vocals apart from the last song. Ashes of the Modern World is just a fantastic song. Not to mention Cello. That's a great song as well. I honestly can't believe the cellos. Great riffages like this. Amazing cello solos. 
absolutely fantastic. I love the drums. I love the overall atmosphere of this album as well. This is a great, great album. So if you haven't checked out Apocalyptica Cello, you're definitely going to uh, find something very unique. So go check it out now. Well, check it out after you finish the video. So coming in at number 14 is Blackguard and the album Storm. Alright, so I was very impressed. This is a melodic metal band, so it incorporates symphonic elements and incorporate a bit of few metalcore vibes throughout this album, along with harsh aggressive vocals. I'm not too sure whether this is a, a symphonic metalcore album or just a symphonic melodic band, I'm not too sure. But I just feel there are some strong elements of metalcore within this album. Or it could be post-death metal. I'm not too sure. Not too sure of the genre, but it, it's a really good album. A Dying Season, what a fantastic song that is. It's just an overall fantastic album to check out. If you like symphonic metal, you're going to really enjoy this. If you don't like harsh, aggressive vocals, you probably won't like this. The vocals, on the other hand, are just fantastic. But the guitar work, the drumming on this album is just absolutely fantastic. So do yourself a favor and check out Blackguard. Coming in at number 13 is another band that really switches genres that I'm not too sure what they are. Are they post met are they post death metal? Are they metalcore? I'm not too sure, but there are some really nice metalcore riffs and metalcore licks. It's the oceans, the sun and the cold. album this is it really is this album just flows like water it does got some really nice clean vocals and got some really harsh aggressive vocals and you got some really nice screams it's very experimental album as well the sun and the cold an amazing song along with dark and paradise the only song i don't really like and i think it's a little bit fucking cheesy is probably water rising row 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 your boat to keep afloat. I don't like that. The rest of the album is pretty tight. It's pretty tight, Nick, and I really do enjoy the album. Coming in at number 12 is Midnight. Rebirth by Blasphemy. Rebirth by Blasphemy! What a fantastic, thrashy, black metal album this is. Really reminds me of old school 80s first wave of black metal. And I do really enjoy that first wave. This is fantastic. This is really fantastic. This is a throwback to bands like Venom. Um, I've just recently explored Venom as well. And they do sound a bit like Venom. It's fucking Speed and Darkness. an amazing song. Along with Rebirth by Blasphemy. Absolutely amazing song as well. This, this album is just hard hitting thrash black metal. It's fantastic. And I love... Love the guitar riffs, love the guitar solos, awesome drumming. This is a really fast paced album. Coming in at 11 is a band called Convent and their album Puritan Masochism. This is a, probably a Death Doom album. I'm gonna say it's a Death Doom album. Magnificent album. This was released last week. It's a, it's a bit lower in the list at the moment, but damn, every listen, I'm starting to really love it. Word of Gone is my favorite song off the album, Tick Tock, Poison Clock. I love the harsh vocals throughout this album. This is doom, this is doomy, this is very doomy, very atmospheric, and I really enjoy vocals. Some really nice guitar moments throughout. If you like doom or death doom, you are going to really enjoy Convent Puritan Masochism. It's a very enjoyable album. It's very upbeat, it's very at times it's quite fast. It's also an in your face album and this album does grow on you. Repetitive listens, it does grow on you. I love Ropes part one and part two as well. These songs are really great, really great and they flow very well, very enjoyable. So we move on to our top 10 now, the final 10 and the first, so coming in at number 10 is Porta Negra and the album Schupfungswut. I don't know how you say that, I think that's how you pronounce it, 
But Point of Negro, what an amazing black and death metal band. I'm going to say they're black and death metal, but they could be on the borderline of black metal. But I just really love their sound, some really nice blast beats, some amazing guitar solos, especially through uh, Dust Rust in Ixion. Amazing, amazing song. Uh, Die, Kums, Die Kussmicha was a great song as well. Overall, this album is very exciting, very energetic. It's quite a fun album as well, and I loved it. Yeah, so check, do yourself a favor. If you like black and death metal, if you like something like Behemoth or Maguire, you're going to love Porta Negra. Coming out number nine is Grimer, Intricaries of Bode Wisdom. What an amazing, what an amazing album this is. This is black metal, fantastic black metal. I just love it. It's very different. Blaze Against Grime is an amazing song. Veil by Blossom's Essence and the final song, Pendula de Angonia, absolutely amazing. Uh, it's just black metal, awesome blast splits throughout the album, nice drumming, quite progressive. These songs are quite long as well, just like Porto Negro songs. Uh, very enjoyable, very enjoyable album, very fun album to listen to. Or oh, talking about nihilism, lyrics overall are pretty strong as well. In my opinion, this is one of the best black metal releases of uh, 2020 so far. and. We've had some really shit black metal releases as well. Coming in at number eight, it is, it is freezing in my mind. It's Mind Freeze by Haunt. This album is fantastic. I absolutely love Love this traditional heavy metal band. Beautiful album, Hearts on Fire, Mind Freeze, get amazing guitar solos, absolutely amazing drumming as well. The vocals are really good, really enjoy his vocals as well. Have No Fear, On The Stage, Voyager, what can you say about this album? This is great, this is absolutely great. Hell a lot better than British Lion, The Burning, that's for sure. This album does it right. It's just so damn good, this album. I love Haunt, I love their sound. I've checked out other Haunt albums as well. Absolutely amazing band they are. Fantastic. They're a great new wave traditional heavy metal band that you guys need to check out if you like heavy metal. Coming in at number seven is Wilderness and the album Dark Waters. No, 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 no. Atmospheric black metal album. A very enjoyable album, I must say. At first, it's really nice, nice, soft female vocals, and all of a sudden, she hits you with a huge shriek and growls, and it's just absolutely incredible. I'm not too sure it's the female vocalist that does those shrieks, but my god, this was absolutely a fantastic album. There are also some bagpipes throughout this album, pretty sure, and it's quite atmospheric. Daniel's Tears is an absolutely amazing song. Half a Sock, Snowy Mountains, what a fucking great song it is. The end off is Wilderness, a beautiful long instrumental that's about six minutes, but it's just to close off the album in style and I absolutely love it. Yeah, this album is one of the best albums of 2020 at the moment. Absolutely, really did enjoy this album. That's why it's higher up on the list. Coming in at number six is Gigandra and the album Toward the Sun. What a fantastic album this is. It's quite, it, this is a doomy, this is a doom album. A doom album and I love the clean vocals, love the harsh aggressive vocals as well. The New Sun's an amazing song. Transcendence is a beautiful instrumental. I absolutely love Controlling Waves and then Two Ascend is an amazing, amazing song as well. This album is just one of the best albums, one of the best albums in January and I just absolutely love how atmospheric this album is. Times incorporates Death Doom along with Slow Doom and I really love that. Love the guitar moments at times, the solos throughout this album. It's quite sludgy. There are few sludgy moments throughout this album, but holy crap, this album will blow you away. You're gonna love it, absolutely love it. If you like Doom, you're gonna love Gaganura. Coming in at number five is Valja Fluster and the album Stimmen im Wind. <laughs> Wind 
this is a black metal band that does it right and I absolutely love it. They released the album, now it says 2020, I don't know. Well, they released an album this year and it's such a really enjoyable album. I really love Volja Flister, the actual title track which is about 10 minutes. It's very melodic, I love the high shrieks, I love the awesome guitar solos, I love the riffs throughout the song and the folky elements you're getting throughout this album as well, which is fantastic. And better than the Marung, what a fantastic song that is. Uh, Vorten's Zang is a fantastic song as well. Oh, this album is just absolutely brilliant. It really is. And I absolutely love it. The vocals are so harsh and aggressive in tone. And he conveys so much emotion throughout this album as well. It's really nice acoustic vibes as well. Really reminds me of Agalock. Fantastic black metal band as well. Definitely one of my favorite black metal albums. Coming in at number four, my favorite black metal album of January is Vengeful Spectre. <laughs> Did a review on my channel and Vengeful Spectre is just absolutely amazing black metal band. They are, they're a Chinese black metal band and I just absolutely love it. You just feel like you're going into a war, going into a huge battle, ready to fight these people and I love it. I really do love the harsh aggressive vocals, love how intense it is. There are awesome folky elements. You got some amazing traditional Chinese instruments within this whole entire album. Crazy and wild it is throughout the war parts of the album. Vendral Spectre, absolutely amazing album that you guys need to check out if you enjoy black metal. In my opinion, this is the best black metal album in January 2020. Fantastic, upbeat, crazy black metal. The Chinese do it well, don't they? And now you know what? There's been so many bands that I have checked out. So here are some honorable mentions. Coming in at number three is Annihilator Ballistic Sadistic. Ballistic, sadistic. We sadistic. This album is in your face thrash fucking metal and I absolutely love it. Jeff Waters vocals are really good in this. I love the awesome guitarist, love the awesome solos, love how crazy it is. Arm to the teeth, it's just a fantastic song. Ballistic, sadistic along with the attitude, fuck the attitude, your attitude, absolutely love it. I love Psycho Ward, awesome song. This album is close to a masterpiece, absolutely love it. Iron Warfare is a great song as well. I love how technical some songs are, not to mention Lip Service, holy crap. I love Lip Service, love the song. The lyrics are a little bit crazy, but who cares about the lyrics? The lyrics may be slightly cringe when it comes to Sonically. It's, it's absolutely, a, absolutely amazing, thrashy album that you guys just need to check out. If you haven't checked out Annihilator, Ballistic, Sadistic, you're doing yourself a dishonor because this is a great album. Great album uh, with amazing technical guitar work. I just love it. So coming in at number two is Brothers of Metal, Embler's Saga. surprised how high this album is but this is a fun album a, such a fun album it's power metal and it's just fantastic her vocals are so damn good her vocals are amazing absolutely amazing not to mention the other members with those harsh and aggressive vocals throughout some of these songs i love power snake i love he how heavy metal chain breaker is and this dagas is a beautiful beautiful ballady song really love it and theft of the hammer is such a funny funny song but sonically it's just brilliant someone stealing thor's hammer i mean how good is that um, Weave of Fate's good. Hail Njord, amazing song as well. There are some folky elements throughout this album, but god damn it, such an enjoyable album. Brothers of Metal is. The title track, Endless Saga, is a seven minute masterpiece. Absolutely love that song. From then, the album just gets better. This is such an enjoyable album, it really is. 
Just give brothers a middle chance. Just give brothers a middle chance. You understand the brilliance these guys hold. And finally, coming in number one, number one spot is Sons of Apollo MMXX or 2020. This album is fucking amazing. It is a fucking amazing album. It's pro proggy. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's all I can say. This is my favorite album of the year so far. Sons of Apollo is Goodbye Divinity is an absolutely amazing song along with With It A Black. This is a progressive metal band. Mike Portnoy and Derek Sheridan uh, Extreme Theater members are in this band. And the vocals on this are fantastic. The guitar and ex-member from Guns N' Roses is absolutely slays throughout this album as well. You get amazing solos. King of Delusion is my favorite song of the year so far. I absolutely love how spooky it is and it gets all crazy and technical. Absolutely love it. This is a fantastic album. It really is. To close off is New World Day, which is a 17 minute song, which is overall really growing on me as well absolutely love it but yeah asphyxiation is one of the heaviest songs of the year desolate july a beautiful heavy ballad talking about their friend david that passed sons of apollo mmxx is my favorite album of january so there you are guys i hope i got you into a few bands or some bands you're going to check out Comment below what bands you're going to check out and also comment below your top 20 or 10 albums of January as well if you checked out that many. So uh, drop a like because these videos, because this video will probably take, I don't know, probably two days to edit. Subscribe if you want and I will see you in the next one.